Hello everyone, my name's Kevin, and today I want to show you an app I recently discovered on the Mac App Store called Alfred. Now, if you've ever used Spotlight, and if you don't use it, I recommend you do use it, then you're going to get the, the kind of normal justification of Alfred. Now, there are a bunch of apps out there like this, but Alfred just seems to stick out to me, and I'm going to show you why in a second. But like Spotlight, you can go into the preferences, and you can just kind of clean up what you're searching for and what this app does is it's an indexer it will index your map and then when you search for something there will be metadata files on your Mac and then it'll pull those metadata files so you can launch something so say I wanted to find an application Final Cut Pro then I can pull that up but what really sticks out about this to me is if I were to pull this up you can also search the web so say I go how stuff works it'll pull up your default browser and I chose to search Google and it searched how stuff works so if you ever want to search from your desktop that's a great way to do that now again you can search for multiple documents apps so if I were to type in oh, if I were to type in a school document I have then that would pop up of course now again what this sets aside from spotlight is I find it a lot easier to use than spotlight it's a lot more user friendly and it's a lot bigger and easier to use see if if you're to put them in comparison spotlight is a lot smaller than Alfred and I just don't find it to be very easy to use so if I were to type in Final Cut Pro yes it's there but if you're doing it on Alfred it's a lot bigger and a lot easier to see but anyway that's pretty much it for this app um, if you haven't tried this app or if you haven't tried an app like this and haven't found one you really like then I totally recommend going to get this in the Mac App Store it's absolutely free so there's no reason really not to try it and I found it's a really amazing app to use to get your workflow going and just to make everything streamlined so anyway guys that's about it for this video if you watch to the end good for you thank you and I'll see you guys in another one